and welcome to the Beauty Biohacks podcast series where we de uh, uh, deliver the world of, uh, of the groundbreaking skincare products and the scientific innovations. In today's episode, we are thrilled to discuss Avon's remarkable achievement as the Avon A New Renewable Activating Serum with Proteinol, which I have it right here. And we will uncover the secrets behind its remarkable successes. So our special guest is Louise Scott, Chief Scientific Officer at Avon Cosmetics. And we will talk about cutting edge technology behind its formulations. And we will dive deep into the science and the, what makes this serum winning so many uh, beautiful awards. So get ready for an exciting journey into the world of skincare innovations and discovery. But we, before we go, let's take a moment to explore the scientific evidence behind the claims. You know, I, it's actually the serums claims that activating serums proves that it uh, can deliver results faster than retinol while remaining gentle on the skin. And I have uh, read that, in fact, that uh, in clinical trials, 100% of women shown results in multiple mm -hmm. signs of aging. Is that right? Let's talk about claims. Let's start with the claims immediately. What is mm -hmm. a, such a groundbreaking uh, moment of this serum? So, Irina, you know, I'm a big believer in um, you put science behind the claims that you that you make we we are not a a promise in a jar that is not fulfilled that we really believe in putting scientific clinical testing behind our claims and i'm very proud to say that actually this product um with the, with protonol uh, we tested in a drug quality clinical which means literally on one side of your face, you use a placebo with no protonol in it. On the other side of the face, you use protonol. And then you compare the two sides. And it's a very, very difficult test to pass because you're literally only different in that you contain this ingredient on one side and not on the other. And it's how they do drug qualification. So we did that for this product. And we actually showed a really significant benefit on two of the most difficult signs of aging which is firming and sagging. And so that was when we started to get super excited about this ingredient. You know, I'm always a skeptic until the science proves it. And that's why we're so confident that we can make these really strong claims on this product. So that's, that's some of the uh, important data behind the claims. The other thing you mentioned is that, um, that it's also kind for the skin. And uh, there's lots of ways to measure how the skin reacts to an ingredient. And we'll talk a bit about retinol, I think, in a minute, um, because actually protonol not only is kind to the skin, it actually reduces inflammation. So we actually do a test of, of how does the skin react. And as you said, 100% of consumers react to uh, protonol in the sense of getting benefits. But also we saw that we don't get that inflammation that comes with some ingredients. So actually that is a very powerful combination, efficacious and kind. Yes, because I hear so much about retinol already. We had so many presentations about retinol and our conferences, but there is always this downside that it's not gentle for the skin. So tell me a little bit more about this uh, um, special ingredient you came out with, is protinol. I would uh, think like protinol stands for proteins and retinol. Uh <laughs> Yeah, there's some good market marketing going on here as well. I have to be honest. You know, the naming the naming isn't a science name. The naming is a branding name. Um, but this ingredient is actually uh, fascinating because it is something that we had identified out of a, a screening of lots of different ingredients some time ago. And um, the thing that was that, that really stood out about it was that. We, we actually decided to do some um, external testing of it to see if we could validate the efficacy because we saw this amazing efficacy in the clinical. We decided we'd go and ask an external lab to actually test it for us. So we went to the University of Manchester and we asked them if they would do some testing. And when they started testing this ingredient, protonol, what they found is something that they had never seen before. So what they saw is that the there was an, uh, a benefit in promoting the production of a unique collagen in your skin. So collagen is the 
is one of the most important proteins in your body. 90% of the protein in your body is collagen. So it's a very important protein. And in your skin, it's extremely important because it actually creates the structure that under, underpins the elasticity and the firmness um, in your skin. And what this, the University of Manchester found is that a specific type of collagen called collagen-3, which is really very prevalent in baby's skin, is actually promoted by, by, the, by the use of protonol. So not only do you get, you actually get to see um, the, the, the collagen one, which is one of the important structural elements, is actually the most common protonol, uh, common collagen in the body. You also get to see this promotion of collagen three, which actually is a very important structural element in baby skin. And therefore by promoting both, you actually can see a, a restoration of the ratio between collagen one and collagen three, more similar to what you get in baby skin. So yeah. that is a phenomenal discovery. And actually, they were super surprised. The University of Manchester had never seen this before in any sort of testing of ingredients. So that gave us the clue to how unique this ingredient is. It's amazing. Yes, I have done some research on the uh, collagen and um, uh, mm -hmm. I understand, yes, like there is like, it's about 80%, I think, uh, of the skin is a collagen one and about 15 is collagen type. Right. I didn't know about baby skin. Uh, this part and, and I know that we are losing about one to one and a half percent of the collagen per year and yeah. apparently by the age of like 80 you get uh, like what 70 80 percent of collagen yeah. loss right so right so yeah, yeah. And, and the thing that was was really exciting Irina when we first started to see this benefit on collagen three is that we started to see that we could restore that collagen loss um, particularly this ratio of collagen one to collagen three back towards that more beautiful bouncy baby skin that you have when you're very young. Um, and actually you lose, you start to lose that ratio of collagen one to collagen three when you, you know, as soon as you get into your teens. So it's baby skin is very unique. And if you can get back towards that, that's phenomenal. So great. You've done some research. Now you know how important collagen is to skin. <laughs> I know, but uh, uh, proteinol is uh, proteins and retinol. Is there is retinol there as well? I uh, sort of no, like. No, no, we don't use retinol in combination with proteinol. Yeah. Um, it has uh, the similar effect as retinol, right? Oh, what, what? Yeah, so, so retinol is, is, as you know, it's been a gold standard of the industry and yeah. the dermatological industry as well as a treatment for skin for many, many, many years. Um, and, and retinol, you know, this, there, there is many consumers, many people who find positive benefits from retinol um, in terms of reducing signs of aging. The, the challenge with it is that um, around 40 to 60 percent of consumers find that it irritates their skin. I'm one of them, unfortunately. I, I can't use retinol. It dries my skin and I can't use it. So that, that problem with retinol is actually very well known. It's well known in the dermatological um, uh, industry as well. And, and therefore, what we were looking for is something that would deliver, you know, similar benefits, particularly on some of the tougher signs of aging, like firming and sagging, which are very difficult to, to deliver, uh, to, to try and find something that could deliver those benefits, but without the irritation. So yeah. the great, exciting thing about this is we've been able to use Protonol in products that are suitable for sensitive skin. So this is these are consumers who have, have found their skin to be more sensitive than the average. So of course, retinol could be really difficult for them. They can actually use Protonol and they don't see any issues with it. And the, the skin is actually calmed by, by the use of Protonol. So that was a tremendous breakthrough for us to see that. Is there is any age uh, sort of like, um, do, do you recommend it for, you know, what age is like, uh, can it be used with the young? And <laughs> I have to say, I just recommended it to my 27 year old daughter. So yeah, I firmly believe that the, the sooner you start treating your skin with these type of products, the, the, the better off your skin will be as it ages. I mean, there's a reality, which is, as I said, you start losing this collagen one, collagen three balance that you get in baby skin into your teens. So the sooner you start treating your skin, the better. And uh, the longer term benefits of Protonol, you know, are really dramatic. I actually, um, we, we've seen consumers actually start to use it on their neck, on their chest, and they see that sort of benefit that you, that you want all over your, you know, your, um, your skin. Um, so your skin is your biggest organ. Why wouldn't you be kind to it and look after it your whole life? Is, is my plea. I, I would say 
the most important things to do for your skin, first of all, is to make sure you're protected from the sun. So put SPF on every day. Um, and, and even when you're not outside, put it on in, even oh, when really? you're not lighting. Oh, yes. I, yes. Don't I, wear, that I wear SPF 50 every day. It's very important. Oh. I didn't, I don't do it, but then I realized in the summer when I'm most of the time like in the office and I don't put much sunscreen, and then I realized I start having some, you know, like spots. Yeah. Yeah. Almost never in the yeah. sun, you know. Yeah. So that's that's yeah. the number one is SPF protection. But number yeah. two, use Prognal and start as early as you can. Um, because I, you know, I think also putting it in areas around your, your eyes and, and around your mouth where you have very sensitive skin, your, the, the skin under your eyes is the thinnest skin in your, on your face, and you've really got to protect it. And I think doing that with something that you know is not going to irritate your skin is a, is a tremendous opportunity. We've actually just launched a, a lovely eye cream, um, which is beautiful around the eye with a high level of cortinol in it. Another retinol usually recommended to put, to put only for the night and uh, proteinol mm. you can do it during the day as well, right? Yes, yes. So the reason the reason for that on retinol is because you absolutely should not expose your skin, your skin to the sun after using retinol without intense protection. Yes. So only recommended for the night. And even then, like I said, you know, some consumers yeah. never will never be able to use it because of the irritation it causes. Yeah. Okay, and this has no restriction like that, so you can use like day and night, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yes. Amazing. Yeah, and you know, the nice thing is we've had quite some recognition um, on this on this discovery and this product. Um, you know, we we we've shared it in some of the the world's top dermatological conferences because uh, we're so proud of it. We're just about to have the pub paper published in one of uh, the world's reputed journals on this ingredient and. Um, We've had some recognition from, you know, some uh, very important organizations around the world. Um, particularly, I think my most favorite one actually is uh, we received an Edison Award. And I don't know if you're familiar with I Edison. I didn't hear about it. It's a special yeah. for the science, or only yes, for the science. Exactly. exactly. It's, yeah, like so it's a big deal in the science award world. You know, when, when the, when the uh, iPhone first came out, it won an Edison Award. It's, it's really for cutting edge technologies. And we won the award for being recognized for um, one of the most innovative new products in the advanced skincare category. So that was fantastic to get that reinforcement that the science of the science. Um, obviously, you know, we also get beauty awards too, which is good because uh, in the end is a beauty product. But I was thrilled about that Edison Award. Yes, it's amazing. I've seen that how much Avon is actually investing in science yeah. in the last years, and it's so nice to see this kind of breakthrough coming from such a, like traditional companies uh, uh, like like Avon, right? It pays back all these investments, I guess, right? That's yeah, and I'm, I'm super proud of it. You know, you I, I've been working in the beauty industry for most of my career, and. Um, I would say this is the biggest discovery that my team has made in all of that time. Um, and, you know, as a result, I'm you know super proud of the team that we've been able to achieve this. Um, but I'm excited. I'm excited yeah. for the consumer because in the end, the consumer will benefit uh, because she has access to fantastic um, science to provide better skin. One more question, so, like, uh, and this is why we also encourage you to nominate to this uh, by Hacker's Choice Beauty Awards as a cutting edge technology <laughs> that the logo is here. Uh, uh, I also cannot uh, not ask the question about sustainability because uh, oh. it's uh, in the, every innovations, I feel like every brand who are putting some effort and innovation need to think of sustainability practice and how sustainable is the ingredient, how is, uh, you know, if you, uh, yeah. yeah, what does it do to the planet and things yeah like and it's, just, it's it's absolutely the right question to ask you Rina. you know we are we're, we have a very um ambitious goals for for sustainability um over the next you know re remains of this decade and out into you know the 2050 um and and the reason we have those goals is because we all are responsible for restoring our planet for um managing you know, to reduce the impacts of climate change. So, you know, we, like many companies, have made these big commitments and every product, so my, my team, every product has to be an improvement in sustainability versus the last one. 
Um, and that includes many different aspects. There's a lot on packaging, as you can imagine, um, you know, in, move, moving to more renewable raw ingredients, um, more biodegradable formulas. All of that is part of the way that we design products nowadays. And in fact, we have um, put in place a, quite a groundbreaking tool recently to look at the life cycle al analysis of every product, um, every formula that we design. Uh, which will allow us to really truly understand end to end. So this is looking at the whole footprint of the product, right from when it, the raw ingredients are sourced right through to when the product is disposed of. Um, and that LCA assessment, we want to be an improvement on LCA for every single product that we pr that we create. So it's not just looking at the very unique separate items. It's also putting the whole product together and looking at that. Um, so I'm I, I'm excited about this journey. It's challenging at times, but uh, for instance, moving to refills, you know, we are keen to encourage the consumer. I know it's lovely to have that beautiful packaging in your bathroom with the pump and everything, but yeah. let's let's start migrating towards refills so that you can use that pump and that bottle and 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 yeah, still have that beautiful fixed um, packaging in your bathroom, but use a use a refill to fill it up. So that's that's great stability. Really yeah, yeah. yeah. This. And one other one other thing I, I would mention, because I do feel very passionate about this, and, and you know, it to me is part of our commitment to the planet, is also paying attention to animal welfare. Um, and uh, in fact, one of the things that we are on a on a, a journey on, always on animal welfare, is to find ways to continue to um, demonstrate the um, attention that we pay. Um, and we're reaching a really important milestone. Uh, which is that uh, we are now Leaping Bunny approved, which is Cruelty Free International. Um, and that means that we can uh, proudly display the, the Leaping Bunny on our packaging um, and recognizing that this is recognized by consumers as the, as the standard, the gold standard for uh, cruelty free products. Uh, we wanted to make sure they knew that we had followed that and achieved that standard as well. So just wanted to mention that it's very important and close to my heart. Particular. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Amazing product, and uh, thank you so much for taking your time to share some science behind it. Because, like, I think many, uh, some of the people maybe don't even know uh, about mm -hmm. it, and I, I would like to bring a little bit more awareness. I have tried this product uh, myself. I have, uh, I'm just like halfway, but I do feel like it's very easy and very light on my skin. It doesn't uh, uh, cause any irritation, and I think that. Uh, uh, I have already seen a little bit of uh, the first results. Uh, right. so, so I'm super really excited. Gorgeous. I'm going to get the next <laughs> one. After this finished, I'm already like on the, uh, you know, like where you can get it on the website, on Avon, right? Where you su su suggest, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. And, and oh, mm -hmm. if I can mention that I love you uh, also lipsticks, the, one of your new products. Ah, uh, the right. acid. I'm wearing it right now. My favorite color, mauve. Right. And I have some friends who mm -hmm. actually uh, been at the conference with us and tried on. And I just already been on the websites buying this color, like <laughs> because it uh, it is uh, so good for the many uh, actually colors of the skins. Uh, actually, it's, yes. It's and yes, it is. It's another one of the products I'm super proud of my team for yeah. creating. Um, it's another world's first, actually. I'm going to say that, which is that it actually it has a, a serum core. It's uh, called Hydro, Hydromatic, has a serum core. So it is a matte lipstick, which not only moisturizes, but also protects the moisture in your lips, which is yeah. quite a, an unusual combination. So you never have to dry, dry lips when you use matte anymore. <laughs> Yes, yes, because I stopped using matte, actually, because I thought that it looks very yeah. dry on me. But the, yeah, this yeah, yeah. one is very interesting. No more. So great innovations. Great. Keep innovating. We are, will be following your new uh, innovations and uh, new developments. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, you. yes, I'm glad we had this chance to talk a little bit about this amazing product because I think it's really revolutionary. So thank you, Irina, for inviting me. Appreciate it. Yes. Okay. Bye.